so it's been uh, really windy lately around here and I uh, but I wanted to show you the little quadcopters that I fly at the moment the ultra micros um, I think everybody's seen this specific one that I've been flying around a lot this is a Phoenix with 8.5 millimeter motors and it's got that nice new little um, FPV camera on there so this is a, a really nice build. I built this for the protection uh, of uh, um, the antenna and this thing is in most of my videos and, and it's just totally awesome. Um, I also created this and you can find it on Thingiverse is uh, well I didn't create the frame I created most of the top plate and you can see it's cut out so that uh, the little FPV VA 1100 can fit in there. But with this guy I've taken it a little step further. It actually has a nylon insert or a nylon frame that's supported by uh, just two PLA uh, cut. Uh, um, uh, um, so you know nylon by itself is indestructible. It makes this frame almost indestructible but it's very you know flexible so these uh, cut outs over here actually support it with the top frame and I'll fly this guy for us a little bit today and I'll show you and then I also started with my own frame and that's called this is called the alien this guy as you can see this is the problem this one's printed in PLA but just lying in the Sun see how flexible it gets so um, but here is the same frame in a um, nylon printed in nylon and um, it's sh it's it's really nice this guy is a much still a bit of flexible but it's a nylon 815 which makes it less flexible than uh, um, you know the standard nylon so it's an alloy nylon so um, the quadcopter turns out to be something like this this is it uh, uh, printed and and actually loaded it's got a VA 1100 on there it looks a little bit like that and uh, I'll fly this guy also so you get an idea of how it flies love it um, it's a great little quad and um, let's see it fly over here um, even though it is quite windy at the moment um, let's try it and see how it works thank you